Hi, I'm Sandy with Financial Security Advisors. Sometimes the big, wide, wonderful world of financial planning can get really complicated very quickly, but it might be easier if you take it in five easy steps. Step number one is to cut your spending in order to free up money to pay for what's more important than just the toys of life. Wants are not needs, and sometimes I think that some of us have forgotten that. A second step inside this area is to set up an emergency fund for yourself at your bank or your brokerage for three to six months of living expenses. How much do you need to float yourself for three to six months? Another area in here is to pay off your credit card debts and your auto loans and other loans, particularly those where you don't get a tax deduction on your tax return for the interest expense. Debt, regardless of how low the interest rate, costs you money. Uh, A second step, then, in sound financial planning is to insure your risk. Get medical insurance because cost of that can bankrupt you if you don't have some kind of insurance for those. A second area in here is to get property and casualty insurance, and that would be your automobile coverage, your homeowner's coverage, and also add up your net worth and see if you need an umbrella liability coverage. Usually, your auto and homeowners have $300,000 of protection, uh, but you may need more than that. You could be sued for uh, doing something unintentionally. Uh, Third area within the insurance section is to get life insurance, um, but only to protect those who are depending on your income stream. And that would be if you have children below the age of 18. Sometimes there are cases uh, beyond that where you might need life insurance coverage. Uh, Also consider disability insurance. Ask yourself if you're disabled, is a paycheck still coming into your family unit? The third step in sound financial planning is to save for retirement and start today. The earlier you start this, the easier it gets. You also want to get the most for your money. So step one in here is to put uh, an equal percent of your salary into your company's pension up to the amount of their company match, and hopefully they have one. Uh, Second step in here, then, is to put the maximum contribution allowed into your Roth IRA. Uh, Plus, if you're over the age of 55, you can do a catch-up contribution. Then the third smartest way to save is to go back to your company's pension plan and put contributions into there up to the maximum allowed. You won't get a company match on it, but you will still uh, lower your taxes, uh, and you'll also let those savings grow in a tax-deferred account, and that's worth quite a bit. Then, if you need to save more beyond this level, you can think about saving in a taxable account. Uh, you can also consider a non-deductible IRA if the Roth, you weren't able to qualify for a Roth. You can also consider using an inexpensive variable annuity if you're going to have a high marginal tax rate for a few years. Also, though, you really want to focus on steps one, two, and three because those give you the biggest bang for the buck when you're saving for retirement. The fourth step in sound financial planning, then, um, and it's time to do your estate planning and not put that off, um, for all of your assets, you want to get beneficiaries on those or transfer on death designations, or you might want to consider a revocable trust if that's going to be appropriate for your situation. Also in this section, you want to get your three powers of attorney, and that would be for your living will, for powers for health care decision, and lay out the powers for financial decisions. And then finally, the fifth step in sound financial planning is to save for your children's college, if you feel that's part of your responsibilities. And not all parents do. We work for you know, a lot of different people here, and they have different decisions on that point. Uh, But if you do decide you're going to save for your children's college, then you want to save smart, and you want to use those tax advantage vehicles that are available to you. And finally, step six, and you're at the end of the road here, you want to spend any excess then on the toys of life. You are the one person, more so than any other, who is responsible for your financial position as it stands today and where it will be tomorrow. Good luck to you.